We're taking the deck. What is up everybody, Saltosaurus Rex here again today with another video, but guess what? It's not Super Mario Maker today. Uh, we're going to take a break from that just for this episode, maybe more, we'll see. But uh, there was a lot of buzz around the game that Nintendo just released uh, for free on the Nintendo Switch, so we had to check it out. It was a Pokemon game, and uh, it's actually called Pokemon Quest, so we're going to give that one a shot. I have no idea what it's about. Uh, all I know is that the graphics look kind of Minecraft-ish. So anyway, let's give it a shot. I've already started it up for us. Uh, here we go. I'm headed for a small island that was recently discovered called Tumble Cube Island. There are traces of a civilization that used to exist on this island, and there could be a lot of precious loot to be discovered. Loot's always good. My goal is to thoroughly explore Tumble Cube Island and uncover its awesome loot. I'll be arriving at Tumble Cube Island shortly. I can't wait to see what treasures await me. Alright, cool. Let's see what we got going on. That's a pretty good sized island. Pokemon Quest. Oh, dude, it's like a little drone. Look at the, the blocky graphics. Wow, I have disappeared entirely. Sorry about that. I was disappearing from the uh, thing. Anyway, alright, so our drone has crashed. Beep, beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. My Moby 4, the drone manufactured by a Sylph company. Uh, brought here to detect loot is acting strange. What's wrong, Moby? Boop boop. Well, I guess I have no choice but to restart it. Sounds like a good idea. Well, that didn't take long. Alright, reset complete. People, in please input your owner's name. Alright, so we know what the name's gonna be, right? Of course the name's gonna be Salty, right? Here's the news for today. I'm not interested in news right now. I'd rather get to exploring this island. Would you go have a look around for me first? Begin scouting Tumble Cube Island. Stand by, I have no recorded data on this island. Guidance will be necessary. Oh, okay, we get to pick our first Pokemon. Which one should we pick? Uh, I was always a fan of Charmander. Charmander's always been my fave, man. We gotta go with Charmander. Will you choose Charmander, an attacking Pokemon that burns everything up with the power of fire? Yes. Yes, we will. <laughs> I am not moving anything. Alright, Pokemon move towards enemies on their own and attack them. I'm doing nothing. I like this music though. Anyway, alright. Pokemon, they know moves. By tapping the icon for one of your Pokemon's moves, you can give the order to use that move. Music's got me bumping, man. Uh, fire spin, of course. All right. Those Pidgeys had nothing on me. On my Charmander, dude. Fire spin. <laughs> <laughs> this must be a boss battle really strong looking okay <laughs> uh, did the ratata did he explode or implode on that one I'm not sure <laughs> Alright, moving on. 
We level up, we got a mighty stone. I guess that's a power stone. Power stones are important items that you can give your Pokemon to make them stronger. As you progress through stages, you'll be able to get strong power stones. And we got some other stuff on the right there. I don't know what that was. I think we can end our expedition for now. We need to set up a base camp. So far, the music's good. Looks like I found quite a nice clearing. I'll make this my base. What about that bizarre stone I found earlier? Is there some way I could use it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm referring to myself in the third person. That's a little weird, but okay. When Salty took out the stone, the Pokemon's body started to glow. Try attaching the power stone you got on your expedition to your Pokemon. All right, uh, Pokemon on Tumble Cube Island have mysterious charms known as power charms. When you put a power stone into a socket on a power charm, it can raise the Pokemon's hit points or attack. Okay, so you got the red glove fist looking thing and that is your attack and then the heart is your uh, HP. With the Everstone button, you can give a Pokemon an Everstone that will stop it from evolving. Good to know. You can start an island expedition from the dungeon icon. The goal of the game is to find precious loot that lies hidden on the island as you progress on your expeditions. Let's do it! Since this is a free to play game, I'm really curious as to when the paywall hits. Because you know there's got to be one. They gotta make money. So I'm curious as to see when that when that will be. I've already noticed that they uh they gave us an energy uh, energy bar, so that means uh you'll have to either pay real money to refill it eventually or wait uh a negative amount of time before you can uh go on another expedition. What was up with that piggy? Did you guys see that? He was like doing like a little 360 dance back here in the back of the room. But so far it's really chill, uh not a whole lot to it so far. At least you do get to do some sort of input. I'm, I kind of wish we could walk around though. Like I could control where my Pokemon goes. That would be, that would give me a little more to do. Like I can even deal with the graphics. The graphics don't bother me. I like the idea of leveling up your Pokemon, unlocking different stuff. That's pretty cool. I'm assuming we can get more than just our one Pokemon. <laughs> Found some ingredients. Looks like you could cook with. If you cook something, it should attract some Pokemon. Alright, let's cook stuff. Uh, when you cook up some food, Pokemon that like that kind of food will come and visit your base camp. Tap an ingredients icon to put that ingredient in your cooking pot. And once you fill the pot, you're ready to cook. I hope I don't have to do this every time. <laughs> Basically, you use your ingredients when you cook, which makes sense, right? Uh, when your dish is finished cooking, will depend on how many times you've gone out on expeditions on the island. So if you use your PM tickets, that's the blue bar that we was talking about earlier, uh, which are special items, you can finish cooking your dish right away. Just this time, here are some tickets you can use to finish cooking your dish right away. Takes 20. I doubt that this will be worth it. Maybe eventually, but I highly doubt it. Because we would only have to do two expeditions for this thing to even be done. Can I select? No. Of course not. I thought maybe we could keep some PM tickets. Mulligan stew a la cube. Whatever ingredients you like and favorite food for some Pokemon. It's very generic. So who knows what we're going to get here. Look like a Raditza and a Pidgey? Yeah. Raditza became your buddy. 
Now keep on befriending more Pokemon. What am I doing here? Peachy became your buddy. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah. Add the Pokemon you friend to your expedition team. Do it. Edit team. Your cooking pot is empty. Why not start cooking another dish before heading out? Sounds good. Auto set button. Well, that's good. Press the auto set button. Your ingredients will be set randomly. So far, it's kind of cool, but I can definitely see where there's going to be some paywalls already. The total of your team members' HP and attack is your team's strength. So the number above your collective heads. <laughs> uh, each spot. At each spot where you can head out on the expedition, the strength of enemies will be displayed. This should give you an idea of what your team's strength should be. Pokemon with the same type as the bonus type for the place you're heading out on an expedition to will have higher attack, etc. than normal. Uh, making them stronger. Cool. Fair enough. Let's go. Let's get to getting. What we got going on? I feel like I'm getting easily distracted. Oh, you guys can't even see the name of that. It's called Gust. Hey, look, it's right in my shirt. Makes him run away. Okay, 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 okay. I got you. So I was hitting the B button the entire time, which was not correct because uh, that's like the scatter, which is that little orange button in the bottom right corner. So leveled up, nice. You might run out of supplies at this rate. If you'd like, you can connect to the shop to get more. Ha! Ah! the shop where I bet it's real money. You can buy things that will help you on your expeditions on Tumble Cube Island from the Pokemart. Of course we can. You need special items called PM tickets to buy things from the Pokemart. As a service for members you can receive PM tickets on a regular basis. We got 50. You think we get 50 every day? I don't know. I don't know. PM tickets are precious. Don't forget to pick them up when you play the game. So there's a timer cooldown on it right there. Uh, what's this? We got quests or something. You can receive items as rewards for your activities. Sometimes you can even get PM tickets. Imagine that. Alright. We got fossils. There are some items that you can only receive as rewards for quests. If you get stuck during your expeditions on the island, it might be a good idea to try taking on some quests. Pokemon that want to be your buddies will come to your base about every 22 hours. That's an odd number, okay. If you've encountered a rare Pokemon during an expedition, there's a chance it may come to visit your base as well. What's in my pot? The mulligan stew. What is that? Is that a Psyduck? Yeah! Cool, man. What attacks do you got, buddy? Confuse Ray. The user exposes surrounding enemies to a sinister ray, often confusing them. Uh, I mean, it's better than that rat, <laughs> right? We're taking the duck. Our strength's already up to 939. Shouldn't be a problem. I 
I love the music. <laughs> I really do like the music. I'm gonna try to confuse Ray. Let's see what happens. Okay. I really don't know what happens. I mean, I guess they're not attacking me, right? If they attack themselves, then we're in business. I thought that's coming on main boy. You didn't hear everybody. Yeah. What? Really? Last one? Another time? Or does it affect the entire area? It seems to go pretty fast if it's only... If it's a whole group. You know, it's probably only one. One at a time. This auto button. I just saw it. Can I walk around? If I... What am I doing? Oh, I can't select any of this stuff anymore. No. We at least want to have some control. You can literally just set it on auto. And go, like, okay. And let these little guys ground it out for a little. The top bar on the very top right of the screen over here shows you for progress throughout the level. And we should be coming up to a boss fight. Yeah. Okay. To eradicate. Alright. Confuse some people, Psyduck. Had a boy confusing again because of reasons. <laughs> All right, fair enough. The prolific statue. If that's good or bad, I don't know, but we got it. <laughs> Now your Pokemon up to level 5 can get increased XP from Expeditions. Oh, so in other words, so you're going to get uh, Pokemon will level up faster up to level 5, and then past that it'll be at a normal rate. A normal rate. When we defeated that boss, a statue that looks like that Pokemon was left behind. What in the world could it be? One of the symbols of the islands. The prolific statue. The statue is carved in the shape of three Rattata, a... Pokemon that can flourish wherever it is. Perhaps this statue is meant to symbolize such prosperity. Seems you've explored everything there is to explore in this area. I'll locate the route to the next area. It may take some time to locate, so in the meantime, search the database for information regarding the statue and found this would appear to be something revered in a place called uh, the Chamber of Legends. What's in the Chamber of Legends? is the next question. I, I gotta find me a good third. A good third Pokemon. Because right now I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like any of them that I got. I really don't like Pidgey either. He's okay. But... Hardly. You guys see that? Like, barely anything. Finally, its defense went down. Oh! So he just did that. He just called for backup. That's good. Charmander's down. PG's the only one I got left, he's about to go down. Hmm. Could have used that earlier. Mulligan's dude. 
Uh, Dodrio? Is that right? Oh. Doduo? Yeah, something like that. Drill Peck. User attacks enemies directly in front of itself with its sharp beak. Good enough for me, man. Good enough for me. Alright, we're much closer to 1300 now. Dude, we are out of energy. What's it going to do? Would you like to use PM tickets to recharge your battery? 25 tickets to recharge. See, this game is going to be one that paces you out. So, those PM tickets. Oh. Alright, guys. Um... We hit our first paywall, and I know we got four minutes left until we can go again, but I mean, nah. Nah, I don't feel like we should. Uh, but anyway, right now, my early thoughts of this game is like, it, it could be a good game. I know it's free to play, so, you know, they gotta make their money somehow. But, uh, there's really not a whole lot of input from the player. Uh, the game pretty much plays itself. The only thing that you actually do is decide what attacks the Pokemon do themselves so um, so far I mean it's okay it'll be good for kids um, definitely um, there may be some more strategy involved later on in the higher levels uh, but uh, overall it's pretty good it's pretty good it's free and it's on the switch so I mean it's worth a try it's worth a download either way but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And we'll be back with some more Mario Maker videos coming at you in the near future. And as always, guys, I appreciate you guys, and I will catch you in the next one.